Can Godot handle 10,000 bullets? Of course it can, even many more. This demo by Samuele is running in Godot with 20,000 bullets on screen at 60 frames per second. This uses C++, but what if we use Godot's simpler scripting language, GDScript? Using the powerful physics server, you'll easily get thousands on screen. That's not as fast as C++, but still more than enough for the vast majority of us. Let's look at the naive and slow way first, and then how you make your code run faster in Godot. If you use the most basic approach, you may only get 1000 bullets at 60 frames per second. In this example, we're using an Area 2D node with a collision shape and a sprite. When shooting, we instantiate bullets, and when they travel past their maximum range, we delete them using the Q3 function. The result can be a bit disappointing. However, with a really simple change, we can instantly double our performance. By default, all our bullets try to detect others every frame because of the default collision layer and mask settings. Uncheck the collision layer and turn off the area's monitorable property and you instantly double your max bullet count. Figuring out the next step was a little harder. I tried to use pooling, a technique with which you pre-instantiate thousands and thousands of bullets and just reuse them. I showcased it in the GDScript Pro Tips video. With the pool, when removing the nodes from the scene tree after using them, the performance was not better. Even without that, using so many Area 2D nodes limited performance. When it comes to performance, you always want to test and measure what is slowing you down one change at a time. You shouldn't make assumptions because you'll often be wrong and waste time. See the free guides in the description to learn more. In the next demo, I did two things. Instead of using three nodes for the bullets, I just used one sprite. Then I tapped into Godot's physics server to check for collisions. It's a little more code, but generally faster too. I also stopped removing nodes from the scene tree. It turned out adding all the nodes as children of the gun and just turning off processing and hiding them improved performance greatly. In this demo, when a bullet hits something, it just turns itself off. The node is still there, but it's invisible and not doing anything. The result, you get up to 7,000 to 8,000 bullets on screen, which isn't too bad. This experiment shows that by making a couple changes and using a little more code, you can often multiply the performance of some critical piece of your game. If you need to, you can even go further like Samuel Lee did and write that critical piece in a much faster language like C++. Then you can squeeze every ounce of speed out of the computer and the engine. There's a big misconception that Godot is slow. I won't deny that some parts could use performance improvements, but well, those are coming with every new release. However, Godot is already much faster than many think with its fast data-driven core. By default, Godot gives you those convenient nodes that save you a lot of code. You get that convenience at the cost of some speed. In most cases, using lots of nodes is not a problem at all, so you don't have to worry about it. When it is, though, Godot provides the servers to maximize performance. The engine is very flexible. You are never stuck with the nodes. Right now, we're on Kickstarter to find a complete course and app for absolute beginners to learn to code from zero with Godot. The app will be free and open source to help everyone get on board much more easily. If you struggle to learn to code in the past or would like to help a loved one get into game development, this might well be the course for you. Click the link in the description to get all the details. Be creative, have fun, and I hope to see you in the next one tomorrow.